Okay, so I've been working on the firmware for the microsupply and I've come across a linker error. Um, you know it's a linker error when it gives you no explanation about what was wrong. And here you have literally no explanation. It just says LD returned 253 exit status. Oh, okay. That sounds like something that would be documented, right? No. No, not at all. Um, so all you have to do is search here and you just get my results, <laughs> which aren't helpful because, um, you know, and, and, you know, no one really had a, um, an idea what was wrong other than maybe just giving me the advice that this is, um, this is a bug because the linker should succeed or fail with a diagnostic message. Otherwise it is a bug. Okay, fair enough. The the best thing to do is to go report it to the authors of the tool, right? Okay, so in I go. Um, and if you read the guy the the things that they tell you to do when you post here, it they say dump all the things. So that's why there's a giant dump of all the blog. Okay. Anyway, so so I dump all the information, give some explanations about what I've done, blah, 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 blah. Then they say, okay, it sounds like a resource issue. Um, I suspect the linker is running out of memory or maybe stack space and crashing. Okay, I agree. I agree, it does sound like that. Um, so I give you some instructions. Tried, I tried some flags to reduce memory usage. Nothing changed. I tried... Um, running it through a debugger, which produces an interesting result. So, I set up a debugger in Visual Studio, and, whoop, might as well stop that. I set up the debugger in Visual Studio to run LD, and um, I have this enormous linker, um, this, this enormous command which runs the linker, because usually this is generated not today, I have to manually run it. I can't run G++, I have to run LD. So, great. Um, so, then all I have to do is run the debugger. Loading symbols, that's great. We want those. Hopefully it makes it debuggable. Oh dear. So it is a stack overflow. Okay, so let's let's uh, look at the stack frames. Oh no, there's no debugging information at all. We only care about the, the latest stack frame. That's this one here. And this one looks extremely suspect to me, but I'm just going to ignore that for now. Um, and we only care about that and, oh no, there's no symbol information. Or at least maybe it was Visual Studio, couldn't find it. So, okay. Uh... Yeah, that looks like no symbol information. Anything. Anywhere. So maybe there's some other things you can try. Maybe there's another linker. Well, um, there's one called LLD used by the, the Clang toolchain. And um, there's another one, um, the Microsoft um, Visual C linker. Um, mlink or link.exe or something. Um, and there's, uh, uh, there's also one called LD Gold. That's one that will eventually replace ld.exe, um, probably. Only one problem: none of them compile. None of them can link for ARM M0. So this is where I am. This is where I'm stuck. And these kind of issues. I'm kind of at the whim of the linker developer, unfortunately. So usually they're quite good at fixing things like this. Um, but there's no guarantee they'll be able to fix it. I've posted exactly what happened, but that may not even help them at all. So, great. Anyway, I've gotten stuck. And if anyone has the ideas how to fix this, um, would be very helpful because I'm still stuck. So, um, there is an update coming, the quarter four 2018 GCC update. Um, that very likely has some information which might be able to fix this and I'm looking forward to that, but there is the potential it won't, and I may have to do some radical changes to cha um, to the code to make it um, behave very differently so that 
I don't get this issue. That's all I have to say. Have a good day.